lots of texture. I like dry brush. Dry brushing is like it's very easy, very straightforward. It just it just gets a bad rep because you know people like we're using it too much. Like if you're trying to to do everything with the with the fucking dry brush, it's it's not gonna turn out good, and then people will label you uh, lazy, and you don't want that. Here are a couple of tricks for uh, dry brushing. First of all, brushes. So brushes come in all shapes and size, and and there are some brush uh, brushes specific for dry brush, and I never buy those, uh, never ever. Uh, this one here is my current like running favorite. It's the extra large base brush by Games Workshop. It's 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 a really good one. It, it's got the size and it's got the little angle. I like the angle. Some people don't like it. I think that's a that's a, a you know a you thing. A, you try it if you like the angle, good for you. If you don't, well, get a flat one. And then if this one gets too trash, you I could just take scissors to it and then just cut the br bristles off again and get a, like like a smaller brush or even put it at like remove the angle basically. Just cut it like flat and then you'd get a flat brush. Uh, so that's that's my my thing, and I always buy this one, and then I trash it. So I use it until it's until it's completely unusable. Like this one is like probably I don't know beginning of its life maybe like a third a third of its life possibly and then uh, it'll, it'll get like a severe severe beating uh but that's okay and then the other trick like the old the old pirate trick is buying makeup brush uh because they're round they're like a like a yeah they have a round end so instead of having this or or this you know a pointy end they have a round top and that was kind of the the go-to thing of like you know old pirates like me um Makeup brushes are like a really really good because that that shape is like pretty great for for dry brush. I don't have one here, uh, but that's that's kind of the the old thing. And that's why when I think the Army Painter came out with like the Master dry brush set, um, it was shaped in a round tip. That's that's kind of where where this is from. Now the thing is like dry brushing it will ruin your brushes. Okay, that's like that if if it's not breaking up your brush, you're not doing it correctly okay that's that's just how it is it's you know it's not you that's 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 life uh so buying like super cheap brush is is a real problem here because that's kind of what like the default thinking is oh well if i'm to trash it i'm gonna buy like a, a, a dollar brush or like a super cheap one but uh if if you do that a lot of the super cheap brush you start dry brushing and then the bristles like stick to them all and they they fall off and so you don't want to like too cheap is is a thing here, so you you don't want that. Where, where you can buying like super cheap brushes, it flies in some area, but for dry brush, when you reach like a certain point, it's like uh, it, it's not gonna work for you. See, so you, you know, you you end up like not not saving money because then you trash your your miniatures, uh, or you have to start over, or you find like bristles for days, like in inside your paint, like it dries in the paint. It's ter it's terrible. So you don't you want to kind of avoid that. So that's kind of the first. The first thing is like getting the the, the brush, and, and the the proper brush work. And then the second thing, dry brushing is like really great for some, um, for some techniques or for some surfaces, but and they're really garbage for others. And I think this is why like a, a lot of times, uh, like dry brushing takes like a lot of flack. Is like if you dry brush everything on the model, like if you take this, uh, let's say this space marine here. Uh, and then you you know you dry brush the gun and then you dry brush the armor and then you dry brush the purity seal and then you dry brush the cape and then you you know you dry brush the little boot and then you dry brush sand on the bay like that's that's kind of too much okay so it, and that that's kind of a that, that's why it kind of excuse me that's kind of why it got like such a bad like reputation or it, it became it became like widely known as like a trash technique but if you use it like on the right things. Uh, it's great. So what are the right things? Well, metallics for one. Uh, metallics are great. It used to be like almost the only way to do metallics uh, ever, right? So uh, prime black, and then you add like sil you want silver on top there. So you just add some sort of silver, and then you just you know get a couple here. There we go. So we have a uh, you know our black black gun here, and then. Just dry brush some silver on there. And then, you know, and then like in, in a matter of seconds, we have like a kind of a, a deep and weathered silver look. 
to our guns. So that's that's that used to be like the the only, like literally the only way you would paint silver back back in the day was like oh, black dry brush, and so and you know I mean, it's it's a fine technique, and that's kind of where because metallics are really great at that because the 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 actual paint inside is very transparent, and then the the actual pigments are like flakes, so so it's really easy to do. Now, one thing that you'll notice, and that that kind of flies into the second trick here that we have, is uh, what you want to do is usually try to go against the surface. Okay, so for example, all of these barrels, uh, what I want to do is have the the silver on top of the barrels, right? So I want the line, and then I want the hole to to not be painted. So I don't want to go with the with the, the with the line that I'm trying to create. I want to go against it, um, like so. Because if I do this, then it, the the brush itself is it kind of a, it it hits all the raised areas and then it goes into the next area and the next area. Whereas if I do this way, well then I hit all of the areas and then my brush. You see if I if I lean into it, then it goes inside the the little hole there. So that's kind of a a thing is like the the, the direction in which you dry brush actually matters. It it makes a little difference. Same thing if I'm trying to do like the these edges or I want the, the edge to be really really silver, I just need to go against it, not like this whereas this it, it's not gonna ruin or it's not gonna not work but it's definitely much easier that way to make sure that my the, the edge of my little thing is uh you know crisp or like very very silver and you can see like right now you can see it like it's it's obviously super crisp and super silver because that's uh you know that's how it got painted basically so this uh, same thing can be said here. So not all surfaces are gray, and that used to be one of the problems of Space Marines. Like this one here is kind of good because there's a lot of like small, small surfaces and a lot of like texture. And bases are a good example of like something that's great to dry brush. Space Marines, on the other hand, now Primaris are slightly better than the traditional like uh, Firstborn Marines, but the big plates of armor are really really hard to dry brush because there's no, no surface really. So space space marines are are not great right at this because the parts that don't have like a lot of uh, texture on them like big flat shoulder plates so let's do that one for example it's gonna go great where where we get the trim but everywhere else it's not gonna be super everywhere else it's not gonna be super because there's really nothing nothing to to dry brush like the, the, where is the the paint supposed to go it's gonna go wherever you you put your brush first right. Whereas if you do it on a more textured area, like let's say this grenade here in the in the bottom part, because there's a lot of surface on the grenade and like a lot of texture, then now now we get like the good good effect and it really brings it out. So same same thing here because we have all of these like little edges and ridges. We can do this, and then it, it kind of brings it bring, brings out all the texture, and that's what we want, not this. Where where this is kind of the problem. Why dry brushing marines was kind of awkward is because you get this these weird streaks. Another really great tip is um, you can do 19 times 19 coats of too dry or with not enough paint on your brush, like so. But if you do it once with too much, it's going to ruin the effect because it's going to go where you don't want it to go. So you see this is one and we have like th these big like streaks on there and it's like basically painting. So we really don't want that. But instead what we can do is on the same same thing. You can do it once properly and then come back and then do it again properly. And then, and then, you know, I, I can do this like three, four, five, six passes, and then it's gonna work, you know. Whereas if you do it once and then you put too much paint, it's good, you're gonna fuck up, fuck it up instantly. So, 19 coats with not enough paint, much better than one coat with too much paint, because then it doesn't work. And then the last last little uh, trick here, I think that's my favorite trick, because it's really, uh, it, it's 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 a really uh, interesting thing. Thing is, uh, when you're dry brushing stuff, don't. Uh, don't wash your brush. Don't rinse your brush. Keep keep going with the same one. So, for example, this one. Let's do that little cloak guy over here. 
So we'll do first, we'll do the gray, or we'll do the blue. Let's do the blue. So we'll dry brush with the blue on the on the cloak here. And you can see the all the folds in the cloak are this way, right? So I want to move my brush this way. Same thing. And now these are just uh, demo models, right? Like this, this side isn't even uh, primed, but I just wanted to showcase this little effect here. And then, so then instead of like rinsing my brush right now, what I would do is I would go straight into my gray. And then, so now this brush has not touched water. We're just adding more paint to it, and then we're you know wiping it away. And then we come back and hit, and hit this, the same same thing, but now maybe a little bit lighter or not not across everything, just to get even more texture into it. And now, so have like a some somewhat of a, a much smoother surface. And you don't really need to limit yourself to, to this. You know, you you could add some shading. You could add you know put whatever you want after this. It's it's a really great base, or you can you know slap chop the shit out of of your models that way, and especially with the rise of the the slap chop technique, you know that everybody's uh, raving on about. Uh, learning out to, to dry brush properly is a great tool because, I mean, it, it speeds up the it speeds up the process a lot. Like if you if you manage your your dry brush correctly, then I mean, it's one one thing less you have to work on when you slap chop and then we went from like uh blue to bl lighter blue to gray to white really smoothly here though like we have a really good really good transition of like almost white in the bottom here and then this brush is not yet washed now if i'm done now i'm gonna clean it uh but during all of that time i didn't didn't wash it a single time and i, I, I can leave it like this for like you know extended periods of time if i want to um because it will produce a, a much better result overall, like a much smoother. And then again, you know, doing these bases, it's really good because th there's a lot of texture. <laughs> 